Improving self-compassion. Life can be challenging with many variables outside of our control. It's not always easy to manage the flurry of emotions that arise during difficult times. Therefore, it is important to know that there are things that we can do to help us be kinder to ourselves, especially when we start to feel out of control or in despair. When we are more forgiving to ourselves, these difficult emotions have less of an effect on our overall emotional well-being. There are four key components to being kind to yourself. One, speaking to yourself in a kind tone. Notice how you're speaking to yourself. What tone do you use? Would you speak to someone else this way? And if you wouldn't, why are you speaking to yourself this way? Try adapting your tone and words to be kinder to yourself. Two, understanding that pain is a universal experience. During our lifetimes, we will all experience times when we might struggle, feel uncomfortable, deal with painful situations and possibly loss. Remember that you are not alone in struggling or feeling this way. Three, gain perspective. Look at your emotions clearly and soberly in a way that neither suppresses nor exaggerates them. Taking a step back from the situation can help us to gain a better understanding of what is going on and how we are feeling. And lastly, four, setting realistic expectations for yourself in any given situation. Ask yourself if you're setting impossibly high standards for yourself. Are your expectations achievable? It's great to strive and want to achieve more. However, it is important to be realistic and not set yourself up for failure. If you have a habit of being self-critical or pessimistic, it can be difficult to imagine what showing yourself kindness even looks like. Practicing may feel unnatural, awkward and fake. One technique that can help is remembering what it feels like to be kind to others. How we speak to them, how we support them and show them compassion. This can make the whole process of being kind to yourself easier. Some of the ways you can improve your self-compassion includes 1. Do things you like and enjoy. Notice how you already take care of yourself and what that looks like for you. You don't need to start meditating or model your self-kindness on how others are kind to themselves. Maybe your idea of self-kindness is to listen to music, dance, read, call a loved one or play board games with your family. Perhaps it's something altogether different. Whatever it is, notice that doing it brings you joy and make an effort to do it more. You may also want to take the time to find additional activities you would enjoy or want to try. 2. Hug yourself. Physical affection and care are grounding, affirming and loving. Even if you are alone, you can still feel these things by hugging yourself or patting your own arm. These physical gestures are proven to reduce naturally occurring stress or cortisol levels. And lastly, three, notice what you're grateful for. Actively taking time to be grateful can bring more joy to your life and can help you take your mind off of those negative thoughts. Gratitude can happen even in the smallest of moments. Enjoying a hot cup of coffee, a particularly bright morning, or even just the thought that you are alive one more day. Practicing self-compassion might be challenging at first, but it's something that hopefully with time and practice becomes easier. There's 37 videos in total looking at different elements of thoughts, feelings, behaviours and physical responses to distress and discomfort. We hope you find some help from them.